On today's show, Lisa Robinson welcomes John Cougar Mellencamp to our studios for a very special three-part interview. You'll also see the hottest video music from Rick Springfield, Willie Nelson, Peter Schilling, plus The Beatles, and a look at the top-selling home video games. Radio 1990's exclusive interview with John Cougar, right after this. John Cougar Mellencamp. Hi, I'm Lisa Robinson, and my special guest tonight on Radio 1990 is John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> what a couple, eh? How are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What is the Mellencamp? We know this is your real name, but are you trying to phase Cougar out of it, sort of? Well, I'd love to, except the record company would absolutely go out of their mind if I tried to phase that out. It's like, you know, it's like, uh, it's like Post Toasty's changing her name to, uh, Toast Posties or something. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Nabisco would go nuts, right? So Polygram would go nuts if I tried to disco with John Mellencamp. So, but the name John Cougar, I've never really enjoyed it. And you remember that in the beginning it was Johnny Cougar, right? Yeah, how did, for those who might not know, how did that come about? Well, I was involved with a guy, uh, a guy named Tony DeFreeze who, you know, in the uh, mid-70s, early 70s, was like a real high-profile manager type guy. And he managed uh, Bowie and Iggy Pop and Ian Hunter and Lou Reed and all these people that I really, uh, living in Indiana, were like kind of my heroes of the time because I liked their music. And uh, so by the time I got there, that whole scene was over and it was like just the dregs of the company left. And uh, they took me under their belt and said, oh, make a star, Johnny. <laughs> right. And if you don't like this name on the, uh, that's on the album cover, then there won't be a record. And at that time, uh, you know, being from Indiana, I would have uh, signed anything just to have a record deal. So you <laughs> another story. Right? But I would have signed anything just to have, have a record deal. And uh, so it was like, you know, I thought the guy knew what he was doing. And let's face it, he, he's a smart guy, but uh, he had his other motives for wanting to take me in. And uh, he just really brought me up too quick and threw me to the critics and the publics, and they picked my bones. One of the people who worked for him at that time, Jamie Andrews, said that they had also been considering names like Puma and mm -hmm. Tiger. Or mm -hmm. What were some of the other ones? All kind of weird <laughs> you names. You could have been saddled. It was with. like when they started talking to me about that stuff. It was like I don't even want to hear this stuff. You know, this is not what I do. You guys talk about that because I really, honestly thought deep down inside they would have just stuck with the, with the real name. I really did not believe that they would do anything so stupid. Hi, I'm Lisa Robinson, and tonight we continue my conversation with John Cougar Mellencamp. You know, at one time I considered quitting. I did an album called Nothing Matters and What If It Did. And I had just met uh, the woman I'm married to now, right? And my career was like, nah. I'd had a song called I Need a Lover that was kind of successful on a single level. But it was like, I'm not enjoying this anymore. Why do I keep doing it? And I was happy on one hand with my personal life for a change. But my, uh, my record career was kind of waning i thought so i did this record nothing matters and what if it did and i almost quit during that record but then during that record i decided that uh you know i don't need to work with these big timey producers uh because it's, it's like uh it's like me and you inviting me to your house and say look at this new house i just bought john you decorate it you know what i'm saying that's kind of, kind of like having a producer is for me okay here's the songs i want to do and here's me in the band and here's what we want to do now you come in and change it so it's kind of like you know I wouldn't invite anybody into my house to decorate my house or to, uh, uh, you know, tell me how to how I should live. And basically, that's what uh, uh, producers had always done to me. So when I finally decided to start producing my own records and just to say, okay, if you're going to deal with me, you're going to deal with me on my level. If you don't like it, I'll go somewhere else. And and once I took that attitude, things started happening for me. <laughs> you know, it started looking a lot brighter. Another one of John Cougar's hits from last 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, today. Well, everything you're doing, making records, performing, all of that is kind of a, a job? Well, at the end of the day, yeah. You know, uh, I love what I'm doing, or I, I would get the hell out. But at the end of the day, it is my job, and that's all it is. Uh, just like, you know, you have your job, I have my job. And I, I have a lot of the same things that, that, that you do, you know, when, when you write. 
and you've got a deadline, it's like, oh, is there anything I can do rather than have to write this crap, you know? I don't want to do this. And it's the same with me. Can you think of anything for me to do besides sit here and write this song right now? I'd rather do anything than this. But then once you get involved in your article and what you're doing, it's like, this is the greatest thing in the world, you know? You're having the best time of your life. But, you know, I procrastinate. I don't want to do this. I don't, you know... Want to go? I don't want to go to you know Switzerland. Forget it. I don't want to go. You know. And but then when I get there, it's great. I complain just like anybody else. Joe Walsh had a song that I relate to. Life's been good to me so far. You know. I think that's funny. I think it's perfect. You know. Uh, and that's kind of the way I the way I look at it. It's it's a job. The end of the day, it's a job. If John Cougar ceased to exist tomorrow, I probably won't go blow my head off. You know. I'll uh, do something else. Will you still be John? Okay.